Hi friends, here is a Kinter window with some tabular data. I can select any row of it and then use the buttons up or down. I can move the selection of the rows and this I am doing it by reading the unique ID of the road. Once I selected this, I am reading the unique ID of the road and then I'm using that I am moving the row selection to different directions. I can move down also and you can observe here I am reading the full detail of the row. So that can be used to update the data or delete the row. Many of the other applications we can develop. We'll learn all about this. We'll start from here. This is a blank template or a Kinter window. You can see here I'm importing TTK because I'm going to use the tree view. It's a part of TTK. Then TK, then I'm just uh, dimension I have given here 350, uh, 550 by 380. You can change it. Let I uh, return a title here. Now let me add the tree view here. So for the tree view, I will just add TRV equal to now I'm taking ttk dot preview now inside this I will be my underscore w is my parent window at the top line number three I have declared it now if you use root like that then you can use whatever name you use that <clears throat> the first I am just giving it a select mode select mode now it is browse now whatever uh, now so headings so I am just showing the headings here, not a that <coughs> ghost expandable that I am not using. I am using headings. Headings. So now once that is there, now let me place it on the grid. TRV dot grid row equal to two because at the row one I will be placing the buttons for the navigation and also I am using row two column equal to one and then I am. Uh, so here I am giving a column span of three because all the other buttons will be there at the top. So column span equal to three now pad X. I'm not flushing with the left edge. So pad X equal to 30 and pad Y equal to 10. So I'm the top I'm giving a gap of 10 and from the left and right edges I'm giving a 30. Now to this I will just place the my tree view header and column details. So I'm just pasting it here. You can see that there are four columns here. I have declared it. Then each column width and the anchor waist, south, center or north like that. I have declared it here, the, all the columns. Then each heading, what is the text should be? It's ID, name, class, mark. These are the text only you can add your own text and some values I am given here. You can see here to fill the table with the data. So I have given here. You can read that every row here, whatever I have added has a unique IID value. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now here you can see I have an ID column because it's a student table what I am using, but this can be duplicate. This ID is not necessarily that there should be, but this cannot be this particular part. I sorry, IID values. This each row will have a unique. Let's just see this. I've saved this and running once. Let's see how the output is. So you can see here, this is the output of it. ID column, name column, class mark. All I have declared it here. ID name, class mark. And then some insert I have in using insert. I have all these rows I have put it. It is not necessary that this ID should be. It's a unique format that row purpose, not for the IID. And IID is a unique here. Once the tree view is displayed, let me now set that the third row or any other row which will be remain selected. So how I'll do that? For that, I will use trv now dot selection set. Here it is selection set. And what I am giving here is the unique ID for this. So let's say four. Four means note that this particular row, I am sorry, fourth row, this one I am going to select. This will be selected once the our application opens up. Let's just run it and see. Yeah, you can see here now this row is selected by default. Now what happens now here? Now let us read what is selected and print the unique ID of it. So what I am going to do is PI, sorry, the PID, I am giving the PID is a variable. TRV is a tree view. Now selection. Uh, it's a uh, tuple. So what is selected is now I am giving a 
zero. So one, two, like that, I can use the column name, the column values I can pick up. Now, whatever, what I am telling is pick up the unique ID or the zero is the first column, which gives me the zero ID. Now I will print this value, print P ID. Now what happened because here we are selecting the fourth uh, row and then I, I am printing it will it should print me the ID of that particular one. So let me just see you, you, you can see here left bottom corner you see the four is printed now because that uh, this at particular ID value is four here. So one two three four okay this don't go by this ID this is the row of data only I can change this to any other value. I can give string as a unique ID also here let's give a sorry I a then next one I am giving B and I will keep the second one selected so here what I will use is I will use B so let's just see this now the uh, because it's not necessarily that it should be a uh, integers and you, you can see because I am using a character so I have given the quotes now let's just run this and see you can see the B the second one whatever there is and here also left bottom it is printed we'll change this value to one and two I am giving one then here I am giving two now this will remove it I'll just comment this thing you can download the entire source code so this three now let's add how you'll select a row by clicking on it so for that i will say trv dot bind this is an event i am binding one particular uh, this is how a event when you click the row the particular function will be triggered and the data for that row will be passed the event data so for that i will say preview select this is the event which will which will trigger the function what function it will collect now I am giving a function data collect this is the function I have not yet written I am going to write it now so here data collect now let me define that function here I am writing defining data collect now here all the arguments I will pass it because it's the event all the argument now inside this I will first I will write global I what is I sorry but I have not defined it I will say I equal to 0 I am writing at the top here I equal to 0 why I am using a global variable because we need when you add the buttons you no know, you want to set the values and pass it to the button so that is why I am using now here you just see what is the I value I am setting it I equal to TRV dot selection again the selection whatever we have used earlier selection and pick up the what the user has selected now this will pick up the iid value of the uh, particular what the user has clicked iid value of the selection so that i am getting it so once i click this i will the row will be selected and this particular selected row I, we have already seen this command will pick up the iid value and assign it to i so now let's for our confirmation let's just print the id va i value and see how it is working now let me just save this run it again now i am selecting yeah you can see the four is printed left bottom corner you watch so it is picking it is picking a whatever i am selecting the respective iid value is printed now i am not i am just through my mouse i am selecting the rows now let us add the buttons here so we can navigate easily so i am just putting bt1 so this is my first button this is the for the up direction i am putting tk dot button now my underscore w is my parent window what you have declared at the top text equal to what will be written on the button up so it is move up direction command what should happen when the button is clicked the command is lambda now what I am doing here is my move what is my move is the function which I am yet to declare so it will pass a parameter because I am giving a the, that this is the up button is clicked now let me place it on a grid so bt1 dot grid row equal to 1 because row 2 is our tree view so row 1 I have of that I am placing at row sorry row 1 now column it's the first one so column equal to 0 the first one and pad x I'm slightly giving uh, from the left edge 5 gap and pad y equal to let me give 10 
so this is the first button i'm just copying this because i had to place one more button now here this i am giving a bt2 let me put this two also so this i am giving a direction of down here i am saying down now bt2 grade row column equal to right of it so i am giving column equal to one that's all this is two buttons are placed now let me just add the function my move so this is what the once i am clicking the buttons that will be my move what is the because this parameter i have to capture first so i am using the variable direction so this direction will hold the value whether it is a up or down it can have two values either up or down what i am doing is i am first let me just global i i will capture the i value because when the user select a different row the i value changes that's a, that's a global variable it's not a local here so i am using that now if direction equal to it is in up direction then what should happen is uh i equal to now because it's a it's a selection is not necessarily what the user has selected is not necessarily is a integer it will be a string so i am converting into i then minus one so i am because you can see here iid values is one two three four incremental order i have placed it so if the user has selected the fourth one and press the up direction up button then the selection iid will be three if it is user has clicked the sixth one here it is you can see six and place the up direction then that new iid value should be minus one that is the logic i am using now since i can write it also another iif condition okay i am writing it on else condition here else do that same thing i equal to int i now again plus one now what this means is when that means the up button is not pressed then the second button is down so obviously down button is pressed so move it increase the id iid value by one so you go to the next one now once you any the, the, the new i value is set either minus one or plus one then i will set the selection now trv dot selection underscore set this we have used below before also now i am just giving that now what will happen once the user select a row and press up or down button based on this the new selection will take place here so let me save this come here run once now i am selecting five so five here you see you can see that one now let me move up i am moving up direction let me move down this is in the down direction again i am selecting something else here moving up now what happens is i can read also the values and i can update it say i can give you a edit option here and i can move up and down and the edit option will be available whatever i want to change it i can change and update it the tree value data will be updated that will be seeing next or we already have one tutorial on that also we'll further explore it uh, i'll that's all we'll stop here practice this this entire source code is available for you I that's all friends i'll request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials and we frequently do that also and if you have any doubts suggestions questions use the comment section below to post it please share this with your friends and thank you for watching